Hey everyone, it's Greg and keyword research is extremely important to me. I have three websites and this YouTube channel and I'm a full-time online marketer. So if I don't do my keyword research properly, I won't make any money and my family will starve. So I take my keyword research very, very seriously. And that's why I personally use SEMrush for all of my keyword research. And I wanted to record this SEMrush review and tutorial to show you how exactly I use it on a day-to-day -day basis in my business. And if you want to follow along with me, then you can grab a 14-day free trial of SEMrush. Just click the link in the description below or type in this link that you see here on the screen into your browser. That gives you a 14 day free trial, which is exclusive to me. The standard, if you go directly on the SMRush website is just seven days. Through my link, you can get a 14 day free trial. SMRush has got so many functions that it's actually quite hard to cover all of them in one video. So I'm just going to focus on it from the perspective of a niche website owner or a YouTuber or someone who needs keywords for their social media. One of the websites that I run is this blog here, Travel Croc. This is one of three websites that I own and I've chosen to show you this website in my tutorials and in my videos. This website gets thousands of visitors every single day and the success of this website came down to me using SEMrush and I actually love to use this feature called Domain Overview. This is kind of a cool way to actually steal, ethically steal, or borrow other people's keywords based on their domain. So for example, if you wanted to look up all of the keywords that my website ranks for, you would type in travelcroc.com and that would give you a lot of information about my website. It will tell you the authority score of my site. It will tell you rough organic search traffic, 7.5 thousand. But again, just keep in mind that this is usually way incorrect. It's just like an indication of uh, estimated organic search traffic per month. What it will tell you though, is that right now uh, our website is ranking for 21,700 keywords and it will tell you exactly what positions it's ranking for. So you can kind of see all of my keywords here along with the position for which uh, our website is ranking in Google search. But you can actually use this information to find out your competitors rankings. And I'm going to show you exactly how I do this personally. So first of all, see how there is an authority score and you can look this up for your own website. And my authority score is 31. If you are just starting out, your authority score could be, you know, maybe one or five or 10, it could be lower. Next thing I would recommend for you to do is to enter the locale or the location of your primary target market. So for me, it would be English speaking audience and the largest English speaking audience would be in the US. So I would click on the US. Next step would be to find some competitors who run websites that are similar to yours and to make sure that the authority score that you're seeing of your competitors roughly matches your website authority score or perhaps is lower. If you don't know any of your competitors, I would just type in a keyword search query into Google that is not likely to be extremely popular. So for a travel website, I would type in something random like things to do in Bologna, for example, and that will show me a list of competing websites and I would just take each one of them one by one and I would insert them into SEMrush and see what the authority score for that website is. So right now, for example, I can see this one, 15 plus incredible things to do in Bologna, Italy. Let's take a look at this website. I can see that it's sort of like a mom and dad style blog. It's not run by a large corporation. Okay, I can click this about link and see who's behind this website. So it looks like it's where Mark and Mim. So this is basically perfect because it's just a, a family style blog rather than a large corporate blog. All right, cool. So then let's take this domain, the common wanderer, and let's come back to SEMrush and we're going to enter their domain name into domain overview tool. So remember that our authority score is 31. So let's see how large their authority score is. Okay, so this one is 43. So it's a little bit higher. So we can just continue going down this list until we find something with the authority score of about 30 or below. All right, well, perfect. I checked a few more websites and I've actually come across this one here, lifeontheMediterranean.com. So again, we can jump on the site and actually just make sure that this is not like a huge corporate website because that would be pretty difficult to compete with. We can take a look at about and who runs this website. We can see, so it says here, when I started my first blog, etc. So this is just one person or maybe a family behind this website, which is perfect for us. And if we look at their authority, lifeontheMediterranean.com, we can see their authority score is just 25. And of course, Travel Croc, my website's authority score is 31. So this one is lower and 
This is very, very important. This is a key point. The reason why I, I use this approach is because if I take a look at what kind of keywords they are currently ranking for, so, so just to kind of show you again, I basically went down to here where it says keywords, four and a half thousand, I've clicked on this. I want to see what keywords this website is currently ranking for. The logic here is that if their authority of their website is lower than mine, okay, and my website authority is higher, if they're ranking for those keywords, basically I can beat them because my authority is higher or about the same. If I write better content on the same keywords, then this is exactly what Google wants and there is a very high chance that I can actually beat them in Google search results. All right, so we can now see all of these keywords here that they're ranking for. Uh, Amalfi Coast, Bologna, Italy, St. Paul events, where is Mallorca, etc. And a lot of them actually are high volume keywords that would be bringing a lot of traffic to their website. The cool thing about SEMrush is that it actually allows you to apply filters that can really pinpoint and pick the gold keywords for you. And let's use some of these filters together. Let's expand these advanced filters and I'll show you what I do. So first thing that I go for is I go include and under words count, I will say greater than and I say four. So I want what's called long tail keywords. So these are keywords that have got at least four keywords in them or maybe longer. They're usually a lot easier to rank for. Okay, so let's hit apply to apply this filter. So we had about four point something thousand keywords before. Now we're down to 1,700. Now we want to go here and apply KD. And KD stands for keyword difficulty and we want to start looking at the easiest keywords first. All right, so you can see that very easy and easy is between 0% and 29%. So let's just include both of them. So I can see custom range from zero to 29%. And guys, the way that these work is if you mouse over over the eye icon, you can see that for very easy, your chance to start ranking new pages, okay, is very, very easy. You can read the help files, but essentially that means that there is very little competition right now in organic search results for this keyword term. So if you put up a really decently sized article, then you'll have a great chance of ranking for these keywords. So zero to 29, let's hit apply. So we had 1,600 keywords before roughly, now we're down to 745. So really cutting out from this massive chunk of keywords, we're really getting down to the keywords that are extremely, extremely easy to rank. And every single time I do this, guys, I uncover some really gems of keywords that there is no other way of finding out. Now, the final filter that I want to apply is positions. So where it says positions, top, top 50, top 20, I actually want to see where this website is ranking in top 20. And the logic behind this is that if uh, this website is ranking on like position 150 in the search terms for this particular keyword, then I kind of don't really care about it because it means that it, even for this website, it's hard to rank. I actually want to see what keywords they're ranking for in top 20, maybe even in top 10. You can start with top 10 and see what you actually get. So here we go. So now we're down to 29 keywords which are, let's just go through the filters, okay? So they're very, very easy on a domain that has pretty low authority and this low authority, weak domain manages to rank for these easy keywords in top 10. Let's take a look. Well, the very first result here is Portofino on the Amalfi Coast. This is actually a brilliant keyword because it's an information keyword, it's a good topic for an article and this website we can see is ranking in position number one for this keyword term in Google search. Now let's open this article and let's just see what it actually is. So the headline of this article is not even targeted to the keyword, okay? It says, is Portofino Italy worth a visit? Whereas the keyword is, is Portofino on the Amalfi Coast? So this actually tells me that most likely very few blogs, if any, have actually written a full on article targeting this particular keyword. And there is a very easy way for us to double check and I'm just going to do a search. Quotation mark open, is Portofino on the Amalfi Coast closed? So this searches for the actual phrase on all of the internet for the actual phrase, is Portofino on the Amalfi Coast? And we can see that there are only about 11 results. All right, so guys, this is like a gold keyword. If pretty much, I'm, I'm gifting this to you, okay? If someone is watching this, if you write an article on this on your travel website, there is a very high chance that you're going to rank for this because there are only 11 instances on the whole of the internet where someone has actually mentioned this. And majority of these results don't even have this in the title of their page. Now, one of the things I get asked all the time is what about the search volume? But 170 searches a month is 
not very much. What about 30? What about 50? What about 40? If I write an article about this, am I actually going to get any traffic? Well, my answer to this is that any kind of search volume is good because it's better to be ranking for at least something, you know, even if it get, gets 50 or 100 searches a month, rather than to target these keywords with thousands of searches per month, but for your website to be down on page 100 because you're just never gonna get any traffic if you're stuck all the way on page 100. Another thing to keep in mind is that each of these articles ends up ranking for dozens and dozens of separate keywords, okay? So if you write an article and you end up ranking for East Portofino on the Amalfi Coast, you're not just going to be targeting a keyword with a search volume of 170. Let me show you what I mean. Let's take this URL over here Let's take it and let's actually see how many different keywords this URL is ranking for. So I'm just going to plug this in and click search. And you can see that this URL actually is ranking for six different keywords, including is Portofino on the Amalfi Coast, but it's also ranking for all of these. Is, is Portofino in Amalfi Coast? Is Portofino on Amalfi Coast? And see the search volume for all of them actually adds up. So if you rank for one of them, you'll probably rank for many others and, and quite often one article ends up ranking for dozens and dozens of keywords. So any kind of search volume is good as long as the competition is low and there is some search volume, absolutely go ahead and publish an article on this keyword. The second way I like finding keywords is by using the keyword magic tool inside SEMrush. Now this kind of keyword research tool is a little bit similar to some other keyword research tools, but I think SEMrush has got a few advantages, which I'm gonna show you right now. Of course, the very basic way to use this keyword magic tool is to just type in one or more keywords and it'll show you all the other keywords that contain those keywords. So I might type in something basic like day trip. Now this is not gonna blow your mind, but just stay with me because I'll show you some advanced tips in just a second. Okay, so if I type in day trip, then yes, it'll give me 160,000 keywords that contain day trip. Again, we can apply the filters to actually find some diamonds in this. So we can go and for keyword difficult, we can say from zero to 29, just like we did before. Let's now apply the account filter. Okay, so we'll open advanced filters and word count will say from four apply. Okay, so we want everything that's got at least four keywords to target long tail keywords. And we can even sort them by keyword difficulty over here. So if I sort them by keyword difficulty, you'll see that there are actually some here that have a keyword difficulty of literally zero guys. They trip Dublin to Belfast. So there could absolutely be some gems in here just doing a basic lookup by typing in something like day trip or things to do in. But what I like personally to do, it, which is kind of like a bit of an advanced method, is I like to mash up the two. And what I do is I go into the domain overview tool and I look up the keywords that other domains are ranking for just purely to stimulate my brain to come up with some keywords that I might have not thought of myself. So here is a prime example, something like East Portofino on the Amalfi Coast. So if I think about this, a lot of people will be typing this in, not just about Portofino and Amalfi Coast, but they'll be typing it in about other countries and other cities and other coasts. So I can borrow a couple of keywords from this and plug them into the Keyword Magic tool. So I can say, okay, so maybe it's a standard structure of a question to say is on coast. Okay, so let's just see what comes up just out of interest. Is on coast like this click search and that will give me all of the similar types of searches that people are asking about other locations. And what do you know? We've got 49 keywords that I would have never thought of any other way, except for doing this combination of the domain overview of competitors and then getting some keywords and plugging them into the keyword magic tool. Look at this. Is James from Christina on the coast married? Okay, well, that's not really related to travel. But here we've got a couple of relevant ones. Is Lake Como on the Amalfi Coast? All right, there is no way we would have thought about this any other way. Here are a couple of others. Is there Halibut on the East Coast? Is Zagreb on the coast, etc. So guys, the opportunities here are limitless. Just do it this way. You can go back to the domain overview. And if you look at this, for example, is Nice in France or Italy, you can, you can take is, in, or, and use them in your keyword magic tool. So is, in, or. And sure, you'll get a lot of irrelevant stuff, but there will be a few golden nuggets in there. For example, look at this. Is Tex Arcana in Texas or in Arkansas? 
Okay, so this is something we would have never discovered any other way. One more really unique way to find awesome keywords is to use this keyword gap feature. You can compare your domain against one or more competing domains and pull out the keywords for which you should be ranking but are currently not ranking. Let's compare our domain, which is in my case is travelcroc.com, with this other competing domain. Remember this domain from the previous steps, lifeonthemediterranean.com. Let's compare these two domains. Once again, the logic here is if you skipped any of the previous steps is remember that life on the Mediterranean has a domain authority score of just 25 our domain score is 31 so this domain actually has a much lower authority this is important and you'll understand why it's important in just a second so I'm just going to compare these two domains and if we look at the keyword details for travel croc okay it will show us what keywords are shared so these are the keywords for which I am ranking as well as the competing domain is ranking. But most importantly, you can also see what keywords are missing or have weak or strong or untapped positions and so on. And the reason why this is important is because if these keywords are missing from my site, see all of these keywords, it basically means that this competing domain, which is live on the Mediterranean, is ranking for them, but I am not. And I should be because my domain is stronger. So this is really golden golden information now let's apply a few different filters so first of all i want keyword difficulty from easy to the end of very easy so i want that and maybe i just want to focus on keywords that have got at least 100 searches so let's go and click apply and now down here i can see there are 293 keywords which is a lot more manageable than what did we have like 4,000 before and we can now apply one more filter which is position and we can choose competitors top 20 okay so we're only interested where this other domain is actually ranking top 20 not on like page 100 and we're down to 54 keywords now so these are realistic okay these are keywords that this domain which is actually weaker than us is ranking in for some good positions it means if we publish a good article we can easily overtake this domain that is weaker than ours so for example we can see best place to stay in Mykonos day trips from Nice they are ranking for all of these. We just need to publish some content, make sure it's good content about the same length, and we'll have a really good chance to overtake life on the Mediterranean.com. The last thing that I think is important to mention is the pricing. If you go to the link on the screen or click the link in the description below, you can get a 14 day free trial of the pro plan of SEM Rush. Now, this is really important because I'm a firm believer in free trials for software. And with SEM Rush, you can give it a really good test drive for 14 days. You can find a ton of keywords in those 14 days. And of course, if you like the actual tool SEM Rush, you hopefully will continue using it on an ongoing basis like I have been. Now, this 14 day pro trial is only available through me. Uh, I've got a special offer from SEM Rush to offer this to you guys, to my subscribers, to my email list. If you go and sign up directly through the SEM Rush website, then you will just get a seven day free trial. You can see here, test SEM Rush for seven days free. So go to this link or click the link in the description below and you'll be able to grab a 14 day pro trial for free. I've shown you some of the ways that I personally use SEM Rush to find awesome keywords. It's been a really big help to me personally and I hope that you find it useful as well. Now guys, if you want to find out exactly how I build websites from scratch, how I build them up and how I make money from them, then go ahead and watch this video next. It's a complete tutorial that'll take you from zero to actually making money. And as always, thank you so much for watching my channel. I'll see you in the next video.